When you're making soundtracks for a film or video game, you need to get in the habit of sitting down and being able to create music straight off the bat. You don't want to be wasting a lot of time with distractions because you have a lot of scenes to do. And when you do a scene, you might have to do several revisions and you just need to manage your time appropriately. So here's a few tricks and tips to make this process faster for you. So this video is going to focus on what you can do before you've actually started composing. What can you do within your DAW? So here's what I do is, first of all, I create an empty project. I don't have any notes yet, but what I do have is all of my instruments loaded. I've decided what instruments I could use in the scenes for this film or video game, and these are all ready to go. In this case, I've loaded in orchestral instruments. You might be doing something else. You might not have orchestral, but this example will be clear for this. And what I have is my string section, I have my brass section, my percussion section, and my woodwind section. And I have them color coded for my own visual convenience, and I have them routed into the mixer. Also have some guitars. And this way, I don't have to deal with all of the time of finding what instrument I'm going to use when I am actually starting to make my melodies. I can just say, okay, I'll load up this project, I'll save it to a new name, and then I can use all of this information and instruments without having to spend my time looking them up. So that should save you some time. Then what I do is I add four patterns. Well, if I'm doing orchestra, I'll have four different sections. I have my string section, brass section, woodwinds, and percussion. I might even have another one for piano and guitars. But uh, And I have these ready to go. And then what I'll do is I will speed up the ability to determine what key I'm in as well. So let's say I go into my strings here. First of all, I add in a dummy instrument, an instrument that's not going to be playing anything. The whole purpose of this is just for my visual reference. And I will go on a piano roll of that. And I'm going to choose what key I'm going to be composing in. So let's say I pick my key to be Phrygian. Then what I will do is I will add in some ghost notes, some invisible notes that don't actually exist for any purpose except for visual reference. That's the only purpose of these. I'm just copying them, making sure I'm always starting on F, and I'm propagating them all the way up to the top. close enough. All right, so I have all of these. I'll now highlight, uh, I'll now copy these over. And then I will make them all ghost notes. I will mute them all. Why have I done this? Well, now if I go into another instrument, let's say I go into my piano, I have this ghost note, these invisible non-existing notes that are just there so I know what notes are in the key that I can use. So I have this available. Any note that I choose, as long as they are in the same position, will be in the scale. And I don't have to worry about trying to figure out, well, does this note work, does this work? This note not work so well. I can visually see this. So I find this is helpful and I can just copy these for each of my sections. And now if I come out, you can see I have all of these set up. So I know exactly what key I'm going to be in. I have my instruments ready. I have my mixer ready and I'm ready to start. So this is a useful way to get started for getting your instruments set up before you've even composed anything.